Hello everyone, this is Potato Legion here. I hope you are keeping very well. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is finally here. And is it worth buying? We're going to go over that in today's video. Let's start off with some of the features that were added from the PTB. We now have a customization page where you can actually decide on which sort of build play style that you want. There is a skill tree function here. If you click on this and press tab, you can then scroll through all of this tree stuff. Now, how it works is you have different paths on which type of play style that you want based on which category. So I've started off here with an endurance path and I'm working up my way in the tree to get points this way. And then you unlock perks and skill points based on that path. And there's different paths that you can come up with and play with, which means there's tons of different options for you in terms of play styles. And then you go into your loadout and you can select free perks here as survivor and then you can put points into attributes which determine your strength toughness efficiency or stealth and this again allows you more different play styles of course it kind of makes sense for you to pick perks that are based around your attributes to make them work stronger as well this is also the same for killer so if i were to go into family here and click on their skill tree it's literally exactly the same and in loadout you also have a perk icon for grandpa as well per level of grandpa this perk will activate and then you got free perks for killer as well why this is really awesome because this gives you so much variety in terms of content like which type of play style you want to play you've got tons of different options maybe one day you fancy being more aggressive so you bring a savagery type build maybe one day you decide you want to give grandpa that tomato juice and you want to make tomato juice harvesting even higher you know there's tons of options for you and that's really really fun meaning there's a lot to grind for and work towards another cool thing as well they've added is a behind the scene unlockable that you can get so you can watch behind the scenes of how the film was made and and some really cool stuff in terms of lore, which is also really nice. Now, before we get into talking about victim and family, I have played this game for six hours today, and I've tried my very best to play three hours on each roll so I can get a feel of what the game feels like. Now, obviously, I would need to play the game longer for 100% accurate review, but based on my gameplay, I feel like I can give a pretty good review. In terms of victim, let's talk about how fun it is. At the very beginning of your journey, playing victim it is a very terrifying experience you have no idea where you're gonna go because the map can get very confusing very quickly you got to sneak around and be as quiet as you can it's not like the killers have any terror radius other than Bubba's chainsaw but even then Bubba can still be stealthy if he keeps his chainsaw off and catch you off by surprise there is a video of me literally thinking one of the family was a survivor and they scared the hell out of me there is tons of fun early game when it comes to fear factor once you get used to it though and you start to learn the map a little bit and you start to learn how to hide better and you know what to do in terms of objective because it can be a little bit confusing then it starts to feel less terrifying you're gonna get jump scared on occasion but that initial horror factor will go away very very quickly so in terms of overall fear it does feel like a very terrifying asim probably the most scary one out there but you will get over it quite quickly now in terms of family this is completely different because there's nothing to fear you are what causes the fear it is really satisfying to play all three types of role there are three categories of killer you must always bring a baba or the game will not start you start off in the basement and you're extremely aggressive you've got your trackers which is johnny and the cook these trackers help you find the victims and they are crucial in order for you to win the game then you've got your trap based killers which are sissy and hitchhiker these two can set up traps to slow down the survivors and they can also follow the survivors direct path allowing you to push the survivors towards the killer because they can go through the cracks and as well whereas the other two types cannot follow the survivors directly now again why is this awesome for different family types because it gives you different play style options you can play as barber and be the aggressive from right at the start and you haven't got to worry too much about defense you can rely on your teammates or you can play the one that gives the information and you're the hunter or you can go lie back and be the person who sort of just chases linearly and sets up the traps there's so many different awesome play styles for family even though there's only five 
different killers. There is so much variety between all of these killers and which play styles that you can come up with thanks to the skill tree giving you different options and different loadout options. It's really, really cool. I think they've done a really good job with their perk and upgrade system, giving you tons of of variety in content now that i've explained what the game basically is what do we think about it well i think this game has tons of potential and i definitely think for an asim horror game it is definitely worth buying the also best part about this feature is it's a free versus four so if you have two friends that you enjoy playing games with how cool is it that you can now team up as a group of killers to then chase a bunch of survivors that's really really fun and this game really complements sort of a party play style please play with your friends you're gonna have tons of fun in both roles and of course there is a voice chat system as well so if you want to talk to other people it's actually really fun i got to speak to a few people today while playing with them and it was really fun and honestly every experience i've had playing for the last six hours has been nothing but wholesome interactions which is so great to see and i'm hopefully that keeps up but we know how the gaming community be can be sometimes but there is a good blocking and muting feature in game so you can block those people who take it too far in toxicity right i honestly think i've rambled on for way too long so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave you guys with my favorite survivor moments and my favorite killer moments to wrap up this video and if you have enjoyed the texas chainsaw massacre series please let me know in a comment down below. Hope you all enjoyed this one, gamers. Take care. Peace out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, chicken. Oh, my God. This guy's pretty blind. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Oh my god. Drop it. Oh! Oh my god, Baba Chan! Ah! <laughs> ah, this is dumb. What do I do? I don't know the layout of this map. Hide, hide, hide. Oh my god! <laughs> the hiding, hiding spot of the year! No fucking way. Okay, fuck you, fuckers. <laughs> Run, boys! <laughs> Where the fuck is Grandpa? Oh, fuck you, Grandpa. How do I stab him? <laughs> I did not appreciate that. No! It was worth it for killing Grandpa! <laughs> hey, Kirk. Wait, it's closed. Oh, no, it's fucking open. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kirk. <laughs> Bye, Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Our first legend escape! Let's go! I got one out the back. Oh, Grandpa. 
I'm coming up. I'm not a violent man. This is something I gotta do. Yeah, back door. She's still here. If you come, she's just standing here trying to loot me. Where? Back garden. Come to the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's here. See her? Oh, yeah. Grandma, I mean, it's on full. Oh, she says, she says it. Wait. Come, me, come, come, come to me. Yeah, ground floor, right by the garden. Come. Oh, come, come, come. Open the door. Oh. Gotta be. Oh, oh no way. I got bonk. She's in the fridge. She's in the fridge. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we literally got nailed. I'm gonna go around the other way. We both got taken out by the door. Oh, they've gone out through the window. Oh. They're out. They're out. They're out. They're She's out. dead. Got her. Got her. <laughs> One's running towards the end. Is the gen still on? Yeah, gen's still on, but he's outside. That's it. Tastes good, don't it? Got him. Nice, well done. Nicely done. They might be out the. They might have gone towards the um, other generator. Okay, let me see if I can find them. Oh, I'll swing back. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. They're here, they're here. They're coming up the back through the the back gate. They just come okay. up this. I'll try and cut them off the front. They're still there by the back door. They've gone quiet. I can't hear them anymore. They are standing still. I cannot detect them. <laughs> I love this game. Hold on, there's a little bit of noise. I'm gonna feed Grandpa, see if we can get a sonar off. Oh, oh, back Jane, back Jane, back Jane. She's there, she's there. <laughs> I can't get through. I'll cut this now. Sorry, I, I'm free. Little slippery snake boy. She's somewhere around here. I just saw her. She might be in these plants. Make sure that car battery's on. Yeah, it's on. I put it on. Just keep chopping in the plants. She's standing still, I cannot. Oh, she's, she's, she's on me, on me. I got her now. Come on, she got a hell of a doing. <laughs> Come on, boy. Yeah. Nice! Oh, nice one. Jesus. 
GG, lad. GG's! <laughs> How'd you take them to the gallows? <laughs> they have to run out of blood and then you can pick them up. Oh, uh, can you? Well played, lads. GG. Yeah, no nice fun. Watashi